Smile. Nice. My name is Jordan Matter. I'm with Shutterbug Magazine in Fort Tryon Park in New York City, and I have with me the brand new Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. I am one of only a handful of photographers to have tested this yet. I'm extremely excited about that fact. And I'm going to start off with some portraiture with this beautiful actress and dancer, Anna. <laughs> the new Canon has more resolution. It's faster and has improved autofocus. And for the first time in the 5D series, it has a touchscreen. I'm going to test the improved autofocus by shooting with one hand at 80th of a second with portraits. Here we go. Nice. Hold that. A little bigger smile. Nice. Uh, so a couple things I just noticed. The auto select autofocus, 61 points, was fantastic. I mean, every shot was sharp. And it was backlit. And usually backlit shots are harder. But in this case, everything was sharp and it was beautiful. So, so far I'm excited. We are going to test the burst rate now, seven frames per second, and Anna's gonna do some dance moves. So the 5D Mark IV has gone from six to seven frames per second in a burst. And we're gonna try uh, that extra frame per second right now with Anna doing some awesome dance jumps. Okay, ready? Good. Go again. Good. Okay, I just shot Anna dancing seven frames per second, and now I'm gonna try the 4K frame grab, which is a still image from a video file. And go. So what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at a 30 frames per second video that is broken down into 8.8 .8 megapixel still images. And you can select any one of these images and then it becomes your high resolution image. So brand new to the 5D series, which I think is an incredibly uh, cool feature, is that you can Wi-Fi send the shot directly from your camera to your phone. You simply hit the Q button and then hit send images, set, and then send image shown, and like immediately, the image is on your phone. Which of course then means you can post on Instagram right away, rather than having to take a shot with your phone to post on Instagram. Hey everyone, this is Sandy, and he's been making this film, and he is going to test the HDR video. We are using a 16 to 35 2.8 version three lens, and next thing you see is him filming some beautiful singing. <laughs> New York. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of, there's nothing you can't do. Uh, I just did a great shoot with Anna, uh, who was singing on the rooftop here. And uh, the camera was in HDR video mode, uh, which is an incredible setting. Um, you'll see the footage a little bit in normal mode, which gives you whatever dynamic range the camera has in normal video. And then HDR mode, it gives you much more dynamic range and you're able to see details in the clouds and also uh, have a decent exposure on her face. So we get just a fantastic image out of the camera. Um, it shoots in HD at that mode at 30p. Um, and it's just really a valuable tool for filmmakers uh, because you get that extra dynamic range. Um, it's really clever. I don't know how they do it, but it's a fantastic feature. What, this? All day I've been shooting with the new 24 to 105 lens and it's been amazingly sharp. I've been carrying the camera around all day and I even forget it's in my hand, very lightweight. We are going to now shoot in a very high ISO. We're gonna do some dance stuff here with Anna and we'll see how the noise looks. Good, right there, hold it right there. I 
I just tested the Canon 5D Mark IV all day. We had a phenomenal time. We tested backlight, we tested portraiture, we tested the burst rate, and we tested video. And now we did the low light. And I gotta tell you, in, in every case, in the camera, I was very excited with what I saw, and I'm looking forward to seeing the final results. Crazy.